What's going on everyone? Welcome back to Better Biomed. Today I was going through my tools and I realized I had the perfect tool that solves a problem and I didn't even put any thought into it because I had gotten rid of the original tool and this is one of its accessories that I had just sitting around. It's so crazy. Why didn't I think of this? All right. So guys, the real problem is that screwdrivers, they're designed for a purpose and they have a very specific diameter based on the size of the tip. And the problem is, is everything else is larger. Take a look here. This is an ideal number two Phillips. This here is what I would like to have, all right? This is what we normally have, is a hex bit that has been machined down. And it looks like it's slender, but it's not. It's not even comparable. And in fact, what happens is, is this one here, since it's, it's non-round, it will damage a lot of plastics. So a lot of these holes that are in devices, especially medical devices, they're tapered. And they go all the way down to the perfect fit of the screw head. And as you're trying to fit this guy in there, it damages some of the surrounding plastic. And the thing is, when we try to use these type of screwdrivers, these ones here won't even go in all the way. And a typical extended bit like this one here, it's a hex shanked all the way down to the tip where it's milled to be a Phillips or a flat blade. So how is it that we can get something like this for this? I love using electric screwdrivers like this and this, but they take hex bits. I want something that's round and slender and able to fit into long passages that are nice and slender. Normal extensions, like these ones here, you can't use. You can't use, they won't get you there. And this is pretty typical for extensions. They're normally a hex shank, again, and a larger fitting for the collet. And that means that it won't fit in the hole. So what's the solution? It was sitting right in front of my face. It's so crazy. This here is a rigid number two Phillips driver bit, but this one is for a electric screw gun. You see these guys right here? Those are automated screw guns that you use for hanging drywall. And in fact, that's what I use for hanging all these. And when I was finished with this project for hanging all this insulated wallboard, uh, that is when I sold my screw gun and I found this guy in my hex bit kit. Take a look at that. A extremely long hex shank, so it locks into your typical driver like this. It locks in, ain't going nowhere. It's non-magnetic. Uh, you can magnetize the end if you want. Um, but this bit is the closest thing to a screwdriver that you can get for an electric driver. So even this one here, I could put my extra long number two. I know it's gonna look really goofy because it's super long, but there are devices where we need super long reach. It's crazy. I had it right in front of me the whole time. So I, I do believe they have Torx and some other ones for these um, screwdrivers, these automated screwdrivers. You can see them right there, Rigid and Senko. It's a cool device, but I didn't need it anymore, so I sold it. And that's when I realized I had some of these bits sitting in my drawer. How crazy. So guys, this, I'm gonna get another one, so I'm gonna have two of them, is definitely going in my tool bag. There are so many times where I had to reach a super long way to get into a case or in behind something to loosen up, let's say a uh, TV mount or something. I needed a super long Phillips that is as slender as possible because of the amount of clearance that I had. And these ones right here, yes, for a majority of the jobs, those work absolutely fine. And they're cheap, you can get them all over the place. But this right here is a beautiful bit because it's nice and slender. Number two Phillips, the number one fastener that we use here in the United States. Go ahead and check it out. I'm gonna see if I can find it on Amazon. If I can, I'll leave it in the video description so that you guys can get yours. They're very inexpensive. And these bits are premium because you use them on electric screwdrivers, so they, they can take some wear and tear. 
Anyway, guys, check it out. I'll leave what information I can find in the video description, and you should probably get one yourself.